A former Illinois congressman charged in a federal spending scandal claims a staffer in his office secretly recorded him, stole thousands of emails and pilfered travel receipts, all to help the FBI build its criminal case last year, according to court filings on Tuesday. Shock's attorneys assert the FBI informant stole thousands of messages from a House email account, tried to obtain physical congressional office records that were Mr. Shock's personal property, and attempted to covertly record private conversations with and between Mr. Shock and his staff, including conversations where attorney-client privileged communications were discussed. Not only did the informant allegedly wear a hidden device to record conversations with Shock and other staff members, but Shock's attorneys claim that federal agents directed the informant to insert himself in conversations that were protected by the attorney-client privilege, as the particular staff members involved were represented by counsel at the time, and the informant purported to be represented by the same attorney as counsel for other staff members. Court filings indicate that the reason these details have emerged now is that Shock's attorneys allege certain communications and other materials obtained by the informant have been improperly withheld from the defense team, in violation of well-established federal case law. The ex-Shock aide was not named in Tuesday's motion. However, according to employee records and information provided by Shock's attorneys, the person in question appears to be Brian Rudolph, Shock's former district manager. Shock's defense team say they will seek to have the case thrown out, or barring that, prevent the use of any evidence allegedly obtained by an informant, which could jeopardize the Justice Department's case against the 35-year-old Shock, who resigned from Congress in March 2015. They are seeking additional discovery on how the Justice Department assembled its case against their client. In a separate motion, the Shock defense team wants to find out what information the Justice Department presented to the grand jury that indicted Shock. They argue that the allegations at the heart of the government case, that Shock illegally pocketed thousands of dollars in government travel reimbursements, are based on regulations that are not precise enough to meet the standard of a criminal indictment. However, it is the claims of alleged illegal activity by the FBI informant that will be most troubling for the Justice Department.